Hi, I'm Dr. Amy Eskinos, Dean of Admission at Hebrew Academy. Welcome to our resource department. Hebrew Academy is very fortunate to offer resource programming for families and students that may have some specific unique needs. Some students may have a learning disability. Some may be learning to speak English for the first time. Others may be above grade level and might need extra enrichment. Some students might have some health issues that might need special attention. So let's dig in a little bit and see the different opportunities that we offer for you and your family at Hebrew Academy. The Academic Enhancement Program is also known as Resource Support in other schools. We call it AEP for short. This is a program to give students who might need a little extra help that extra support that they need. Many students come to us who have already had a psychoeducational evaluation, and within that evaluation, they have a diagnosis with a learning disability, and they probably have a list of accommodations and recommendations for things that would allow for proper success within school. If your child has a psychoeducational evaluation, I encourage you to send it to me so I can review it and determine if we might be able to meet your child's needs. We can meet the needs of some specific learning disabilities that are mild. Um, we do not at this time have the capability of helping children who have autism or extreme learning disabilities or behavioral concerns, unfortunately. The Academic Enhancement Program in the elementary school functions as a push-in or a pull-out program, depending upon the need of the student. Some students need the help of an extra teacher in the classroom in small groups. Others might do better in a pull-out situation. So we really look at the unique needs of that learner and determine what might be right for him or her. Some might need a little bit of both, and that's just fine. In the middle and high school, it functions just a little bit differently. They have a resource room and students would attend the resource program for one period a day in lieu usually of a Judaic studies program most often, um, but they would go in there and receive extra support during that particular time. In the middle school, um, our academic enhancement program teachers can also push into the classes as well. And again, it just depends on the needs of the student. In the middle and high school, it is required for students to have a psychoeducational evaluation in order to receive support through the academic enhancement program because of the modifications and accommodations um, are required at that point in time in order to be in the resource department. The elementary school, this is not required at the time of admission, but it may become necessary throughout the time a child is in school if we believe that we need more information about the way a child learns. Um, all in all, the resource department, and you can see a picture of all the lovely folks there um, are there to help the students and they do provide feedback to our families um, every few weeks so that you have an idea on how your child is progressing during their time in school. Mechina. Mechina is a program designed for students who have been in public school or who have been out of Jewish day school for a couple of years or who've been in a Jewish day school, but maybe the Judaic studies requirements are just a little bit lighter than what our program requires. So Mechina is designed to catch up those children. Some children will come into the Mechina program. They cannot read all of bed at all. They know very little about the holidays or Shabbat, or maybe they're from an observant family, but they just simply haven't had the opportunity to learn. So they might have a full awareness of Shabbat and the Chagim, but very little knowledge on Hebrew reading and writing translation. So the um, Mechina program is designed just for them. Mechina in the elementary school works as sort of a one-room schoolhouse. It's for students in grades two through five. Rather than going to the regular Judaics classes, they would instead attend the Mechina class. In the Mechina class, the teacher would assess the child's needs, whether it's very beginner or somewhere in between and just needs a little bit of getting caught up with the rest of the, the regular class. And they would catch them up with their Hebrew reading, their writing, their translation skills, any knowledge that they need of the holiday holidays and Shabbat, and of course, conversational Hebrew as well. Middle school Mechina acts as one period a day. Typically, this takes place during the davening period because we need the children to know how to read so they can participate in tefillah. Uh, once they're able to fully read, then they would, of course, attend their regular davening with their class. Um, they would also receive some modifications and accommodations for their other Judaics classes as they're attaining skills. 
In the high school, Mechina functions a little bit differently. Um, they would have one period a day where they would have a class where they could catch up with the gaps in their skills, and they would also have their other Judaic studies and Greek classes accommodated with proper ability level. And then as they are learning, the accommodations would be removed little by little until they're right on level with everybody else. The program for Mechina does have a bit of an extra fee, but it is much less expensive than needing to pay an extra tutor outside of school. ESOL. ESOL is a program for our students who are learning to speak English. ESOL is available beginning in kindergarten through grade 12, um, and we would do an assessment to determine the level of ESOL support that a child needs. Some children come in speaking no English at all. Other children come in and have some English skills, and some are very close to mastery, but maybe you have difficulty with some of the vocabulary or reading from the textbook, note-taking, and things of that nature. So the ESOL teachers would run an assessment to determine how much support is needed. And if a child needs a little bit of support every day, they would have daily support. If they need support three days a week, then that's what they would receive. That would be for grades K through eight. High school, the ESOL students would receive support through our resource department, which would meet one period a day with the resource support teacher who could support them with extra skills, study, um, and extra ESOL support as well. Enrichment. In the elementary school year, if a child is functioning above grade level, they would be provided enrichment through our resource department. Enrichment, currently we offer something called Zaniac, where students are pulled out of classes two to three days a week to work on advanced STEM and math skills um, during what would be the normal math period in their class. That way, the children who are above grade level can work at a faster, more rapid school with a higher order of critical thinking while the remainder of the class remains with the regular classroom teacher to work on basic skills and have more guided practice with their teacher. When students reach middle school and high school, the enrichment department really no longer plays a role because we offer ability leveled courses at a higher academic accelerated level. So therefore they would just take accelerated classes at that point in time. School psychologists, we are very fortunate to have two wonderful school psychologists on our campus. Mrs. Rabovsky works with the elementary school and Dr. London works with the middle and the high school. Our school psychologists serve several different roles. For new families, um, very important to know that they run new student check-ins, they have new student meetings, new student lunches, they offer new student groups uh, throughout the beginning of the school year to make sure that all the new students are doing well and adjusting happy and are making new friends. Aside from new student check-ins, our school psychologists also work on bullying prevention, conflict resolution, and self-awareness. They help our students to become upstanders and to become helpful and to recognize when something doesn't feel right and to report that situation and help the child who might be having a difficult time. Our school psychologists are also available for students who may be going through difficult phases of life, for example, families of divorce, bereavement counseling, and social, uh, social groups as well if needed. Our school psychologists are always just a phone call away and available to speak with students and parents as well. School nurse. Nurse Lynn is a very popular resource on our campus. We do have students that have health issues, whether it be a nut allergy or asthma or epilepsy, um, falling down and scraping their knee, a tummy ache because they're new and nervous, a little headache, maybe they have a fever, Nurse Lynn is there. If your child is recovering from an ear infection or strep and is returning to school needing a lunchtime dose of antibiotics, you would just send that medication in and Nurse Lynn would be available um, to administer the antibiotics for you. Um, Nurse Lynn is a wonderful resource for all of our families. If you have a health concern for your child, please by all means contact her and she'll be available to help. And if Nurse Lynn is not at school on any given day, we have substitute nurses who do fill in for her so that our children are always well cared for and happy. By now, you've probably checked out most of our chapters um, in our video series, beginning with our history and philosophy, all of our educational um, division programs. Um, but I hope that if you haven't had a chance to check out the videos, that you will. Um, of course, if this video didn't give you the information that you were seeking about school resources, by all means, send me an email or give me a call and I'll be more than happy to help. Take care.